My name is Gayatri, working with the IBM QRadar's team. In this video, I will walk you through the process of determining events per second rate of each log source in the QRadar. For top 10 log sources, there is a default quick search to find out the results. But there is no automation process to find out events per second rate for each log source in the QRadar. To achieve this goal, you will need to perform few steps. For that one, you will need to go to the log activity, then go to the search option, click on the new search. Here in the column definition, we could see available columns, group by section and column section. From the column section, select the log source and add it back to the available columns using remove column button. After that, select the log source from the available columns section again and add it back to the group by section. After this, you can adjust your time range according to your requirement. Here I am taking recent that is for the last 5 minutes. After that, you can click on the search button to view the results in the log activity. Now here. We can see the successful results for top 10 log sources by count. Here you can also see the count. There is another method to find out events per second using advanced query language that is AQL query. Here we can use advanced search option to run the AQL query for top 10 log sources. Before running AQL, please make sure you are using advanced search option. If you use quick filter and run the AQL query, you may see blank results. So please make sure that you are using advanced search option while running the AQL query. I am referring the same AQL query which is given in the IBM's official documentation of determining the events per second rate for each log source. Here in this query, I am running query for the 5 minutes hence I have taken 300 seconds. Then we will click on the search button and here are the successful results for top 10 logs for CPS in intervals by EPS. Using these successful results, you can check the top 10 log sources which are utilizing events per second. Also, it is helpful in the fine tuning of the log sources. Thank you for watching. If you need more assistance, feel free to check the documents given in the description.